almost four years now since we said goodbye to a civil rights leader and a DC legend. Today, a statue was unveiled honoring Mayor for Life Marion Barry. It comes just a few days before his birthday. He had a troubled past, but many say this statue is a reminder of all the good he did for the district. Here's Bria White. After Martin Luther King had a dream, before President Barack Obama, it was Marion Barry that brought opportunity to Washington, D.C. After a hearty tug, <laughs> Mayor Muriel Bowser unveils an eight-foot-tall bronze statue of the former D.C. Mayor, Marion Barry Jr. I love it with five fingers out. Brilliant, brave. That's Cora Masters. Barry's widow. When folks counted him down and out, he did what? He got all the way back up. The statue pays respect to his resilience. You see, Barry served four terms as DC mayor and three on city council. But it didn't come without setbacks. In the middle of it all, he spent six months in prison for cocaine possession. We fall, yet we get up. And that's what he did. We all have a past, and uh, we, he without sin or she without sin cast the first stone. Roscoe Grant Jr. worked in the government with Barry for years. If he did anything, he hurt himself and nobody else. Grant thinks that Barry's accomplishments should speak for themselves. You know, Marion did a lot of things for small businesses, for senior citizens, for the youth in our city. The city that we're seeing now with all of this development and all of the things that have come to pass, Marion Barry. And I want to say to you, Marion, you will never be forgotten. Bria White, WUSA 9. Barry, Barry, Barry. <laughs> That's right, Barry, 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 the mayor for life with a lot of celebration, marching bands and go-go there, I heard in the background. Now, the reported cost of the project, $300,000. Barry's widow says the money all came from private donations. Coming up on 